if you're watching a film and there's an action scene where a, a stunt double has stood in for Tom Cruise, and you know it's not really Tom Cruise, but you're OK with that, aren't you? You don't sit there at home feeling lied to that he didn't do that. It's part of the performance. But what about when dogs are involved? <laughs> I'm talking, of course, ladies and gentlemen, about the Britain's Got Talent scandal of 2015. The show was won by an act called Jules and Matisse. Jules is a human being. Matisse is a dog. There they are next to Simon Cowell. In the act, the dog is wanted for stealing sausages, and in the little drama that unfolds on the stage, we see the dog get arrested for stealing some sausages by Jules, who's dressed as a policewoman. She puts it into the police station as if it's going to jail, and then there is a daring jailbreak, and we see the dog crawling along two wires or ropes between one window and another. And then we find out that the dog was stealing sausages for its lover, who turns out to be a three-legged dog. At which point, the audience's hearts melt and Jules and Matisse win the series and take home the £250,000 prize. <laughs> but then, people discovered that there was more than one dog and the dog that was put inside the jail wasn't the same dog that walked across the ropes. It was a different dog. It was a stunt dog. <laughs> and Britain was appalled that a woman had trained two dogs and not one. <laughs> I don't know if I can break this to them, but I found out she's not even a real policewoman. <laughs> there was outrage. There were a thousand complaints. <laughs> this was a big story. There it is in the Telegraph. There it is in the Independent. Even the Radio Times got involved, dubbing it Doggate. Although, I'm not sure they should be calling that Doggate, because I think we all know that that is a Doggate. <laughs> the world was all a flutter with comments. And you know me, ladies and gentlemen. I quite like it when people get upset about things they really shouldn't bother getting upset about. I visited at least a dozen news sites where this was under discussion. I took my favourite comments that I could find there beneath those stories, and I've turned them, ladies and gentlemen, into something that I like to call a found poem, which I would like to perform for you now. I am apoplectic with rage at this cover-up. I pay my ITV licence fee in good faith. <laughs> I do not expect to have the wool pulled over my eyes in this manner. Thankfully, I never watch Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> and now I never will. I don't know much about the world, but I do know this. Someone using a secret dog in their act is a con artist, plain and simple and a con artist simply cannot be presented to the royal family <laughs> under any circumstances. <laughs> the show is a farce and should be renamed Britain's Got Dog Act. <laughs> Personally, I am ashamed to belong to a nation that favours dogs over human people. <laughs> My thoughts are with the people that really matter right now. Ashley and Pudsey. <laughs> the sooner this show is axed, the better. And they can take the X-Files with it. <laughs> Ashley, and to a greater extent Pudsey, had nothing to do with this. But their names will inevitably be dragged through the mud because of it. And an innocent dog shouldn't have to be dragged through the mud for no reason. <laughs> I voted. And I'm ashamed to say that I voted for the Dog Act. I did it because I was moved to tears by the three-legged dog at the end. With hindsight, <laughs> I find myself asking, what kind of person would use a three-legger? to tug at the audience's heartstrings like that. <laughs> the answer is clear. The same kind of person who would use a secret dog to walk on ropes. <laughs> That's who. So am I the only one wondering how the three-legged dog lost a leg? <laughs> Did Jules chop it off? <laughs> if this fiasco proves anything, it's that she is more than capable of such a heinous crime. <laughs> oh, do get a grip and stop being such a negative Nancy. <laughs> if you don't like the result, there is nothing to stop you training your own dog for next year. <laughs> not going to bother? No, I thought not. 
It's easy to talk the talk, but none of you are ready to walk that talk, are you? <laughs> the only thing this scandal reveals is that a woman trained three dogs and not two. She has displayed 50% more talent than she has officially been rewarded for. <laughs> I don't care that Jules lied about Matisse doing all the stunts. I do care that they live in Belgium. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the B in BGT doesn't stand for Belgium. <laughs> I thank you.